Let us learn about bar graphs. A bar chart is the simplest and most widely used type of graph in which numerical data is represented by bars or rectangles of equal width. We shall now list some properties of bar graphs. The width of each bar can be arbitrarily chosen, but width of all the bars should be the same. The space between consecutive bars should also be the same. The height or length of a bar is proportional to the numerical data it represents. Note, the height or length of a bar represents a quantity whereas its width represents nothing. There are three types of bar graphs. Simple bar graph, double bar graph, divided bar graph. Observe the examples of a simple bar graph. Both graphs represent the same data. Each bar represents a class of students and its height represents the number of students in that class. Recall that the width of each bar and the spacing between consecutive bars are arbitrarily chosen, but uniformity must be maintained. Study the example given of a double bar graph. Each pair of bars denotes the number of students in a class. The completely shaded bars represent the number of girls in a class, while the partially shaded bars represent the number of boys in the same class. The x-axis gives the division of standard 9, while the y-axis gives the number of students. Can you figure out why we need not represent total separately by a third bar in each class? Study this example of a divided bar graph. This graph represents the same data as that of the double bar graph. Here, the length of each bar gives the total number of students in the class. The completely shaded portion represents the number of girls in the class, while the other portion of the bar represents the number of boys in that class. Let us now study a problem. The table shows the marks obtained by Sumit in the annual examination. English 50, Maths 40, Hindi 60, Sanskrit 70, Science 50, Social Studies 54. Represent this data on a graph. Proceed as follows. Set up the scale on the y-axis. Let 1 cm represent 10 marks. Let us set the width of each bar to 1 cm and the space between any two consecutive bars to 1 cm. Using the chosen scale, determine the length of the bar corresponding to the marks scored in each subject. Draw the bars as shown in the graph. Label the bars correctly.